Welcome to Barn Explorer. The barn was built in the late 1800s by the Douglas family. And this is the farm today. Coldstream Farms, but it's owned by Jack Rainey and Galen Smith. It's silage time. Everybody's busy. 7 a.m. in the morning. The trucks are already rolling. Got to get that silage in while they can. I feel like a bum. These guys are hustling. And I'm just walking through with my camera. But the normal chores go on. Still gotta milk, still gotta feed. This place is busy. So this is the original parlor. Built by the Douglas family, like I said, right? This was a plot barn, stanchions. All the stanchions hung in here. They're long gone now. Rainies use this as their maternity board. You see the windows to the old barn that would have been looking out towards the road. This was a big barn. It's built solid. Everything's whitewashed. Now these old barns, the front of them was usually for the pump or grain and calves. Well, they extended this corner out and they're still using it for calves. It's Galen. You've got to be quick to keep up with him. That old boy is a going concern. They raise all their own replacement heifers. They just shipped calves out the other day, the other morning. This is the farm in 82 when Jeff took over. Bought it from the Norfolk fam family. It's the outside of the barn, the original barn. Right over here would have been the doorway to the milk house. It's not here no more. That's where they extended the barn out. That's the door to the milk house. Now it's the doorway into the office for the break room. Good morning. This was the milk house when I worked here. And this is the, the old part. Of, they blocked off one side, don't need it. They used just, just this side for medicine cows, freshened cows. But everything's kept clean. Everything's taken care of. These girls get the best of care here. This is the holding pen. The cows line up here to get milked when this was the main parlor. Them girls, they'll let you know They'll talk to you. Big barn. I suppose I should have went up in the loft, but I didn't. There was just so much to see. So much to show. See, this is the other side of the parlor that they're not using anymore. 
It's all taken out. Again, looking at the outside of the barn. <clears throat> right there is where the original silo stood. This is where they do their treating, their breeding, personal care for the cows. There's been over a dozen farmers on this place and only three stick in mind to been considered a success. The Douglases, which owned about 90% of the valley at one time. Then the Dickies came in a few owners later. The Dickies did good enough that their sons started branching out from here and started their own dairies. They're all gone now, retired, moved on. Then a new kid in town, Jeff Rainey. He'd been around the barn a time or two. He had big dreams for this place. Is manure. When you're milking 20, uh, you know, what do you say, a thousand seven hundred and fifty cows? A lot of manure. Shavings. Jeff has them put shavings in the doorway to the barn, to the feeder alley, so the tractor and the feeder wagon don't drag manure in on the cow's feed. This is silage. This barn here is the first major building project Jeff undertook when he uh, started milking here. It's a big, it's a big barn, loafing shed. Jeff wasn't done yet. Jeff was only getting started. And there was going to be more cows. This is the farm today. And this is his milk house today. The back side of the milk house, actually, this is called the pump room. Remember when I showed the little bitty pumps? These little pumps aren't little no more. And wait until you see this. Now in this pit, is a monster. <clears throat> Safety head carousel. First dairy I milked on, we milked 80. This carousel can hold almost the entire herd that I started milking. This is topside. This is the new milking burner. These boys are getting serious.
see, I grew up one-on-one -on -one with cows. And this kind of takes that out. And on 2D2, after saving the galaxy, decided to retire the quiet country life out here in Acme, dipping cows. It's an iodine sprayer. Control the mount. Reads where the cow's at. And iodine is natural and it's a disinfectant. It doesn't hurt the cows and it doesn't taint the milk. We use dip cups, little bitty cups. You put the cow's udder in it and you squeeze the cup and it shot iodine around it and soaked it down. This thing does a prescribed amount just right. Really is something to watch. Almost walked past this and I need to stop and look. This is the control board for that robot. Big red button that shuts it off if it goes crazy. This is the milker's position. Only takes one milker. And he's hosing everything down between herds. The next herd is getting ready to come in. Takes them about seven hours to milk the entire herd, all of them. Everything's kept clean, keeps the diseases down, the bacteria down. This is the cows stepping up. They just step on, everything's automated. He's going through now and cleaning them, getting ready to start putting machines on. This is the front of the milk house. These tanks hold thousands of gallons of milk. And they blast the milk into the bottom so that the milk doesn't splatter on the walls of the tank. So it's shooting through cold milk all the time. Warm milk shooting through the cold helps cool it faster. These controls the temperature and tells you how full the tanks are. Tells you where your temperature are, where it is inside the tank. Not really sure what this is. But it all, it all makes a lot of noise. This milk house ain't nothing like I remember. This was cold stream dairy. It's a going concern. This place will be here a long time. From its humble beginnings. I want to thank the Rainey family and thank Galen Smith for letting me come onto their beautiful farm. This was my first live dairy. Thank you guys. And thank you for coming with me on this trip, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I love farming.